we're back out in Lanzarote on one of my favorite climbs, Tabiesco. Now I've lost count of the amount of times I've ridden up here and even raced up it too. Well, I'm quite the opposite to you, Mark. I hardly even recognize these views and I must say I've very rarely ridden it. Well, one thing we do have in common, Heather, is that neither of us have run up here before. That is true. And we have noticed quite a few trail runners taking what looks like a shortcut that goes straight up the hill and avoids the switchback. And we thought it shouts, a race. Well, but not just any old race, runner versus cyclist. See, we've done a bit of research here and with 3K to go on the road, the trail starts and it goes directly through the roads. So here's the route we spotted. Tangled through the middle of the switchbacks, there is an off-road run trail. Although, neither of us actually know what it's like, but one of us is going to find out. But how, you ask, can a race between a bike and a runner possibly be a race, or at least a fair one? Well, let us explain. For the bike, which is 3K up this hill, Kamut predicts it should take 14 minutes. Whereas the run route behind me cuts straight through those roads and brings the overall distance down to 1.4 kilometers and predicts a time of 15 minutes to the finish point, the same finish point at the top of the hill. Now we've got that route sorted, I think all that's left to do is to decide who runs and who cycles. Right, Mark, I'm not putting excuses out there, but I think you've got a little bit of an advantage. I know that neither of us are familiar with the run route, but you definitely know the bike route better than me. And I'm trying to work out which is going to give me the best advantage. I'm not sure. Oh, hey, look, I am going to be a gentleman here. Let's be honest, it doesn't happen very often. I'm happy doing either. So why don't you go and check them both out? Okay. And then you can choose whichever one you prefer. That well, sounds like a deal to me. Deal. Right, whilst Heather heads off to check out the routes, let me run you through a few of the stats and metrics that I've pulled up on this one, starting with the bike course. So we've got a three kilometer section that we're gonna be racing over on the bike with 170 meters of elevation gain. And from the start point that we're using, which is partway up Tabiesco, we have five switchbacks to do with an average gradient of 6%, finishing at the cafe at the top of the hill. Now earlier when I said that I'm not very familiar with this climb, that's because I realised I've only ever come down it, so it looks a little bit different from this direction and definitely feels a bit different. But the smooth tarmac and there's some nice sweeping curves, although suddenly 3K does seem quite a long way when it's all uphill. It's a tough one. And now for the run route, this is obviously slightly short. It's 1.4 kilometers because it more or less cuts straight through the bike course. In fact, it actually crosses over the road on two occasions, but with it being shorter, it's obviously steeper with an average gradient of around 11 to 12%. Now it is clearly off-road. How off-road? don't actually know at the moment but then with 300 meters to go we join onto the same road that the cyclists will be on and it's a sprint to the finish line this looks like the run route well i think from what i can work out this looks like the run route so as you can see it's pretty rocky underfoot and of course it's rather steep but it's hard to tell at this stage just how steep and whether my legs are better suited to going up a short hill and running or this kind of smooth but much further road. I do like off-road, although I'm not sure you're gonna get a rhythm on this one. Having checked out both routes to the top, which is more than I had done, Heather returned to tell me her decision. All right, here she comes. See what the verdict is. All right, how was it? What's the final verdict? Oh. I'm still trying to make that decision because there's just quite a lot to take into account. Like genuinely, I'm, if it was early in the year, then I would 100% go for the run because I was really running fit. And the trail looks quite nice. I think you'll enjoy it if you end up doing the run. But then the bike, as I just, I've just obviously finished on the descent and it's like, oh, smooth tarmac, lovely sweeping corners. I'm not sure they're gonna feel the same on the way up. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely torn. And I kind of want to do both myself, but I think I'm going to stick with the bike as I've got my bike out here, I don't get to ride it very often, and I've never actually ridden up this hill properly. So, yeah, okay, I'm going to go with the bike. I'm happy is, with is that. Is that okay with you? I'm happy with that. 
um, yeah, our best gonna get changed then. Yeah, okay. Cool. Well then, that was that decided. Time to lace up and get racing. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> already. I think I might have gone a little bit harder than I should have done at the start. I'm going to have to just try and hang on now for another two and a half K. I just made it past the first milestone, the first crossover of the run, and thankfully Heather wasn't in sight. Can't see Mark yet, and I'm coming to the first crossing point, which is at least a good sign. Unless he's crossed it. He has, oh bugger. Excuse my language. Oh, no. I thought, okay, no more talking. Heather was currently struggling up this part here while I was quite way ahead. But while Heather continued on well-paved, smooth roads, my route was getting more and more rocky and more and more vertical. Oh my goodness! He's all the way out there! Jeez! He's absolutely miles ahead of me. Miles. He's on the road! On the road. Pretty sketchy now. All my hands and knees almost. Heather's gonna be catching for sure. Whew. Oh guys, a new shelter. Where is he? How is that number four? Two more. I did spot Mark earlier, obviously, but I can't see him now. I can see the trail, and there's no sign of Mark, so I don't know what that means. But I can't waste any more oxygen right now. Oh, I don't headwind. Oh, it's killing me. How close is she? Oh man, this is 30. Last 100 meters. Do you know what? I think I can see Mark. I'm gonna keep going in case I'm wrong. 
that. I think I see him. How are you chilling? Oh man. Oh. It's not far behind either. That was really hard. She comes. Well done. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> All I can say is I'm thankful I packed my trousers. I'm glad you can talk. <laughs> it was, that was hard. Did you, did you just get a lift up there? <laughs> I saw you once. I thought you were going to catch me actually because I, I got a lot on that first part because it was just straight. Well, I was saying, chatting to the camera, I was like, oh, I think I'm beating Mark, I can't see him. Because you weren't gone so far. <laughs> but on that bit where I got the little switchback to myself, yeah, you sort of caught me quite quickly there. So. Yeah, no, I couldn't see you then, so I was just like head down. And then, right. I mean, still only took 10 minutes and in my head I was like 14 minutes. Um, but yeah, well done. Yeah, well done. Well done. <laughs> right, we are thankfully back at the apartment, chilling out now. That was a tough afternoon or morning, actually, I should say. It feels like <laughs> a long day. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure we were expecting the result that actually came out of that. No, I mean, you did have a very convincing win and you so much so that I obviously thought I was ahead of you at one point and little did I realise until that, coming around that final bend and yeah, my heart sank. I was like, I'll still work till the end and I can definitely feel it in the legs today. I'll be honest, I, I honestly didn't think I was going to win that. And there were points where, yes, I realised I got a lead quite early on, but as it went quite technical, I just thought you're gonna claw it back so quickly. So I had to keep pushing, keep pushing right up to the line. So that was tough. It was an amazing trail, but that yeah, yeah. was hard work. Yeah, I think um, in hindsight, it should have been a race to the top and back again. That would have been cool, might have, actually. Might have won then. That would have been fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. back myself on that yeah, one. There's, and also, we were kind of thinking, oh, maybe we could swap around. So many different options, mm. but I think that leaves it quite open and, and more ideas for other challenges. So if you guys can think of any challenges you want to see all three of us do, Fraser included, do let us know in the comments section below. Yeah, that was absolutely amazing. Great fun to do today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't do so already and like this video. And if you'd like to see one of our other challenges, actually here on the island we did the Lanzarote Ironman Challenge, which wasn't quite so successful, but quite funny to watch. You can see that by clicking just yeah. down here. And if you want to see a video when I actually took on GCN Espanol, it was myself against Maya. You can see that challenge just down here.